Welcome to our piping engineering channel. In this video, we'll be showing you how to calculate the length of pipe piece in the piping 2D model drawing with easy method. Before starting this video, please subscribe to our channel to watch more useful videos. This video provides excellent practice information about piping skills for piping fitters. Let's starting pipe tutorial video. As you can see, the 10 inch pipeline section. This pipe section consists 10 inch 90 degree but weld elbow, 10 inch pipe piece and 10 inch but weld equal T. As you can see, in this pipe drawing, 1500 mm from the center of the 90 degree but weld elbow to the center of the equal T is shown. We are required to calculate the length of this 10 inch pipe piece used between but weld elbow and equal T in this pipeline. For this, we must first find the 90 degree but weld elbow and equal T lengths. Then, if we subtract the lengths of the elbow and equal T from the total length, we can find the length of the 10 inch pipe piece. To find the length of the 90 degree but weld elbow and equal T, we should look at the dimension chart table of the 90 degree but weld elbows and equal T. First, let's look at the dimension chart of the 90 degree but weld elbow. The nominal pipe sizes, NPS of elbows are shown in the first column of this table. This letter D written on the 90 degree elbow indicates the outside diameter of the 90 degree elbow and is shown in this column. The letter A written on the 90 degree elbow indicates the length of the center to end dimension of the 90 degree elbow and is shown in this column. Since the pipeline in our video is 10 inch, we will look at the row written as 10 inch in the NPS column. This table shows that 10 inch but welded 90 degree elbows have an outside diameter of 273 mm and a center to end dimension is 381 mm. Now, let's look at the equal T dimension chart for 10 inch but weld equal T dimension. The nominal pipe sizes, NPS of equal T's are shown in the first column of this table. This letter D written on the equal T indicates the outside diameter of the equal T's and is shown in this column. The letters M and C written on the equal T indicates the length of the center to end dimension of the equal T and is shown in this column. Since the pipeline in our video is 10 inch, we will look at the row written as 10 inch in the NPS column. This table shows that 10 inch but welded equal T have an outside diameter of 273 mm and a center to end dimension is 216 mm. Now let's go back to our main video. We have now learned the lengths of the 10 inch 90 degree but weld elbow and equal T. Also, during fit up between pipe fittings should be cap, approximately 3 mm, it is for welding. You can see this gap for welding as practical now in this video. During fit up, such are open between the pipe fittings to be welded, and a gap of approximately 3 to 4 mm. Having this 3 4 mm gap is for better root welding. Accordingly, we can easily calculate the length of the pipe segment between the 90 degree elbow and equal T. Pipe length is equal, total length 1500 mm minus, 10 inch 90 degree but weld elbow dimension 381 mm minus, 10 inch but weld equal T dimension 216 mm minus, 2 times gaps for welding 3 mm. At last, we calculate and found length of pipe piece on this 10 inch pipeline is 897 millimeters. By using this method, you can easily calculate distances between the pipe fittings in the any pipelines. This tutorial video is finishing here. If you have any question about video, you can write comments in the comments section. Your opinions are very interesting for us. You can watch videos about pipe length calculation, pipe slope calculation, piping isometric drawing, welding symbols, pipe fittings by entering the links in the description below of this video. If you liked our video, please subscribe to our piping tutorial channel. Your support is very important for us, let's not miss the comments and likes my friends. Thank you for watching see you on next video take care.